while we have made significant progress, we must also recognize that our journey is not yet complete. We still face challenges such as eradicating poverty, improving health care, and creating jobs for our youth. These challenges require a collective resolve. We must stand together, united by our shared history and a common vision for a prosperous Uganda. I am confident that with the resilience, ingenuity and determination of the leadership and the Uganda people, we will continue to overcome any obstacles that stand in our way. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Our dreams for Uganda are big and our potential is even greater. We must harness our natural resources responsibly, invest in our young people, invest in tourism, commercialization of our agriculture sector, renewable energy, formation technology, and commit ourselves to sustainable development that benefits all Ugandans all over the world. I would like to thank those whose support has made this evening's celebration of our 62nd anniversary Independence Day possible. Thank you to the Housing Finance Corporation of Uganda, I'm not sure where they are, um, Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, and of course the Uganda High Commission, London. I would like to thank all of you for coming tonight to celebrate with us. Some of you I know have traveled from Uganda to be here, and a special thanks to you, Mr. Anthony Haber, and the producers of Kakira Gin will also ensure that the real Uganda Waraji with Uganda Gin will be served along with the Uganda High Conscience contribution. Thank you to you all. On this 62nd Independence Day, let us together recommit to the values of peace, unity, and patriotism. Our strength lies in our unity and in our diversity. It is by working together across regions, cultures, religion, and political differences that we build a better, stronger Uganda for today and for future generations. As we celebrate today, let us do so with pride in our hearts, knowing that we are part of a great nation, a nation with a bright future. Let us honor the sacrifices of all. Let us work tirelessly for a Uganda that is free, prosperous, and united, as well as all our ambassadors out there, wherever you are. May God bless Uganda, its people, and the friends of Uganda. May we all continue to strive for the peace and progress of our great nation. Wishing everybody a very happy Navratri in my Hindu culture, because we're about to go into Diwali, and we fight and conquer evil, over good, and a happy Diwali in advance. And thank you, and happy Independence Day for God and my country. Can we just put our hands together for the High Commission? So if you want to invest in agriculture, there's opportunity for that. As you were coming in, did you grab the beautifully printed, this do grab one. There's also opportunity in tourism, in mineral manufacturing, and other services. So should I actually invest in Uganda? There's opportunity in global chain hotels. There's opportunity for Jeff. There is also transport, both water for leisure and air transport, like the High Commissioner just mentioned, that hopefully before the end of this Uganda to the UK. Put your hands together for that. It's been a long time. We're just going to play a short video just highlighting the tourism industry in Uganda. Tonight, we want to rewind on this one. In case you're misplaced, we've got, we have somebody misplaced their phone. Thank you so much. Happy Independence. <laughs>
sorry, you can't hide away from me. Thank you so much, Has anyone watched 